Uh, what's your favorite part of ISA? My favorite part of Isom is where he looked into the sky, saw that there was a hole torn in the universe, flew up there with the nuclear bomb, delivered it to the alien armada, and before it exploded, he just looked the admiral in the eye and said, It's Isoming time. <laughs> it really resonated, huh? It really, it really, that really resonated, man. It, 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 it hits home. Makes you want to go attack the day. Coming right uh, back. The you know, I, I, I really, I respect that. I respect that part um, too. Today, I announced my favorite part uh, being when um, Isom was saved by Blood Ruth from uh, Darth Vader, uh, <laughs> Darth Maul, actually, Darth excuse Maul. me, uh, mm -hmm. on uh, Planet Vegeta. And uh, right before the final blow, she had uh, said, uh, Black girl magic. <laughs> and that just resonated with me mm. so much. I love that part of the, uh, of the book. And uh, so that's my favorite part for you guys to have questions. Um, <laughs> you guys, yeah, I, you know, I can, I'll give you an honest answer for my favorite part of Isom. My okay. favorite part of Isom is the fact that because of it, we're now getting Alpha Core and Yaira yeah. Yeah. And, and all this other stuff. That's the my favorite part of Isom is it's uh, it's massive success has allowed to uh, the, the expansion is to, you know, going forward because you, know, you never knew how the, it was going to turn out. You know, it could have been yeah, it could true. have been just like a you know a decent seller, maybe maybe you know two three hundred thousand yeah uh, in, in revenue, and be like, okay, mate, that's enough, that's enough to us to that's maybe exactly. stick an item two into production or whatever. But you know, you're not looking to maybe do this and that and the other and the merch and the, the negotiating the da 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 da, and then because of you know the two the two item book sales, um, green lighting, you know, green lighting the the expansion. Yeah. And, as, and it, you said uh, community or whatever you call it. I, I'll tell you what we call it. We call it the fucking Ripperverse, mate. That's yeah. What we yeah. 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 That's what we call it. I fucking love it. No. And no, and on, a, and on, on a more serious note to that point, you know, that's, and I've said this many, many times, though I know, uh, you know, maybe certain people have, uh, it's the acoustics, maybe they're just so terrible uh, when you, when you tell them what, what part you love. Uh, similar to what Jen and Sylvia had said, you know, they, they likened it to, to like wrestling and looking at like Isom putting other characters over, right? And mm -hmm. Isom one and Isom two, where you got the introduction of all these characters. And that's been part of it with me, especially with the Alpha Core. There's even things that, you know, uh, if there were, was one thing that I would have done differently, though I don't regret anything, if there was one thing I would have done differently, would have been make make it maybe 112 pages, like I did with Isom too, mm -hmm. more so uh give even more context to that conflict with uh Alpha Core and um and Yaira, right? That would have been mm -hmm. but I would disagree. Okay, that's fine. I, I'll, I'll tell you what I tell you why I disagree. Okay. Um because uh what that was in Isom, which actually legitimately is my favorite part of Isom. Yeah. Um is the fact that you, you, you leave the audience wanting more. Okay. Right? And I and I thought that was that was that was enough because I wanted to know more. Okay. I wanted more, right? Uh, and the fact that Isom Two comes along, but then we're branching out to Alpha Core and Yaira, we've had the little bit of the animation. You've been you just putting that little tease in. What's going on? Why is Alpha Core keeping tracks? Why they're being brought in? Why is Yaira acting the way she is? You know, because when 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 Yaira was initially announced, I think all of us were just thinking, oh, she's going to be. A female just a female hero mm -hmm. but there seems to be more to it right you know yeah. there seems to be a lot more to that so now i'm sort of like okay wh exactly what is her deal yeah um so so it, it asks it asks questions you know and and uh that the soska sisters are gonna flesh oh, out man. yaira yeah we yeah, got yeah. chuck dixon fleshing out alpha core so I, I personally think you did the right thing okay you, you gave us just enough for us to go who and what and then he went, well, you're going to have to find out. Yeah. And and uh, you don't want to over-explain stuff. I it's, agree. It's, it's the, it's the, what's Isom's powers? Yeah. Give, give, it time to, give it time to work in. Yeah. You know? You can't yeah. just say, hi, I'm Avery. My powers are, and yeah. I'm a he, her. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, you can't, you can't just do that. You know, there's, there's got to be some sort of, uh, okay, what's going on here? There's got to be some sort of development. You... You have your Bible, but it's not set in stone. You could have your Bible and be like, actually, what if I work this in here? Yeah, and yeah. and so 
So we'll push that out and push bring this in because that fits that fits better, makes more sense if we do that. And uh, it, you know, even if you look at early early comic books from from new characters, um, the continuity changes based on how you, you you're beginning to put things together. Yeah, so great, sure. it is great you have a Bible. It is great that you got a a really a solid idea, but that shouldn't. That shouldn't affect your ability to be flexible, depending on on what ideas develop in the uh, you know in the creative uh, sphere for you. I agree. No, no, that's a great perspective, actually. You know, and I think that for me, I don't want to say that it's a challenge. It's more of you know we have the target audience. And to your point, that is the target audience. The people that like that type of stuff, and part of the fun to me about comics definitely when i was talking about this type of stuff with my bros it was the theorizing it was you know anticipation of what was going to happen in maybe the next issue because you know the the idea that everything needs to be spoon fed i'm not with it and i think some of that comes with i don't know if it's the culture or you know we're trending towards tiktok short media giving everything so people can move on to the next thing that kind of has people uh, approach it that way but i think that the ripperverse for sure it is going to be for those that want to actually have fun in it get lost in it and understand that they're in it for the long run which means mm-hmm. that not everything is going to be told in one in one book you know the the goal here isn't to hey here's everything about the character where we're out of here that's not the and if that is your goal for some people that are writing whatever but I'm trying to get people lost in an entire universe yes. here. So we have to be smart. Otherwise, we end up like, you know, maybe uh, George R. R. Martin and we've rolled ourselves in a fucking corner. I don't want to be that guy. I, I don't want to be. I want to consider years from now. And uh, that's when, when I'm when, with my writing style. That's what what it is that we do, as well as just our approach. You'll get some of that stuff with the Saskas. Because, yeah, while you could just go in and read Yaira, right? It's a satisfying book, right? You, yes. you, you guys will see it. It's a, it's a very satisfying book from, from just a readership perspective. However, it leaves you wanting so much fucking more, right? It, it, and that, to me, is what it's about. Good. Folks are gonna, gonna be uh, reading that. They're gonna read Alpha Core even and say, man, well, that one thing happened and, uh, you know, what, what's the theory? It's like, in our Gilded, I love that. We have that. A bunch of people having conversations about this, picking up on things that they may not uh, picked up on before because they got ISOM 2 and now they're rereading ISOM 1 and they saw yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. You get a different perspective, right? When you reread it and now you're noticing something that's uh that's very that, that's different, right? Or something that gave more perspective to the to the first book. I love how like with the second book, people didn't know where we were gonna go with it. And that was on that was on purpose. I didn't want it to be predictable. Uh but I also want to make sure that you guys um you know, th- this is something that's fulfilling for the people that are getting lost in it. And I'm not saying this to like shit on other companies. What I'm saying is, is I can't write the Ripperverse as if people are fans of stuff that isn't the Ripperverse, right? Yeah. If that makes sense. I have to no, write no, no. This, this universe like and for the people that this is your main source of, of entertainment, right? Yeah, you, you can't you can't say this is the Ripper versus Batman. This right. is the Ripper versus Super. You don't want to fall into that trap. Right, right, right. Because right. uh, then you're just copying. Mm-hmm. Then you're just copying. You, you need that originality. You need to have your own ideas. Before you establish, I mean, Chuck can write story and character all day, every day. All day, yes. You're a, you're a new writer, you know? So you, you are you are uh, playing with ideas. You're formulating, uh, formulating ideas, and you're trying to make them work together. Mm-hmm. But you can't let your story get ahead of your characters. True. True. You you got it. You know these are characters that God developed. And and you said earlier, you know uh, after reading Yaira, um, you know people are going to be wanting more. That's the correct answer. Yeah. Look, if I read Yaira, and I'm like, okay, I'm done. I'm you know yeah. <laughs> that's not what you want. Right. I want to you know I want to be reading Yaira. I want to be reading Alpha Core. And by the end of it, going, oh man, I can't wait for that. I can't need more of this. You know, yeah. that's that's what I should be. You know, there's 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 zero point in in introducing new characters and being like, oh, that, that was satisfying. I'm, but yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, it, 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 like these- it has to, and, and again, that that has to be. You know, it's a vision that some people, again, and maybe if they have that short inti- attention span, that I could, I could see where they're like, maybe that's not their approach. But I think for 
the people that are invested into this world, into this universe, like that's going to be the the preference there. And I'm writing it for them. I'm writing with that audience in mind. Like, hey, you want to look forward to future Ripperverse stuff. Like what Marvel and DC it was for me, I'm not saying that I'm going to like have that type of volume where I'm just releasing shit every, every week, you know. But I want people to be like, you know what? This is my thing, right? So when the next Ripperverse product comes, I'm I'm in line. I'm I'm ready to get it. Mm. So I'm writing it with that person, that person specifically in in mind, not the person that's just going to move on to the next next thing. Um, because I want this to last for for you know for for as long as I possibly can make this last, as long as the uh, customers will allow this to to last. And you know some of that conversation about like to your point, like oh what what's how is this and power like what exactly he can do like this is a conversation that maybe we're not having in five ten years right uh well, it, because the superman stuff developed superman didn't fly yeah exactly to your in, point in, in 1938 he didn't fly he was yeah. able to leap buildings in a single bound he, yeah. he jumped yeah that, that was how he went over distances it was only later later on that they changed the being able to jump into flying uh, yeah. you know so things change yeah most yeah. definitely Thing, things can things can be developed. Things can change. Uh, even though you're doing a through continuity, which which is uh, to me the right thing to do, and more companies need to nail themselves back down to a singular continuity. Um, it, you can still play with that. Oh yeah. You know the yeah, audiences right. are going to be because there's going to come a time where you're not going to re- you're not going to write Isom. True. Very true. You know you're going to be you're going to say to somebody I, I I you know I want you to write Isom. Let's just say six, for example. Yeah. I need you. I want you to write Isom six. This is where we've got to. I want you to carry on writing it. I'm diverted in another area. You right, know. right, right, right. My time's needed here. So, so that that new writer that's going to come in, you're going to want to to obviously remain true to to what you put before him. But it's going to have his or her. It's going to have uh, their their touch on it. It's going to have their little little thing on it, and and that's the same with every writer yep. throughout throughout uh, throughout comic history. So yeah, you, you this this flexibility. You got flexibility, you know. And people are people are demonstrating that we're you know we're in we're in this. Okay, you know, oh, yeah, absolutely, we're, we're in this. So um, so they've got faith, and when an audience is showing you faith. To me, that says, you know, give you, it should give you confidence to say, yeah, you know, okay, they've got faith in me. Uh, I need to repay the faith, but at the same time, that's, you're allowing me to, to go in these other directions. Alpha Core number one's pre order is live. Written by the legendary Chuck Dixon and penciled by Joe Bennett. Visit Ripperverse.com to grab a copy and any of the merchandise items. Be sure to also check out the animated trailer for the campaign, which is the latest project from Ripperverse Studios. Y'all be easy.